Hi guys, welcome to Hide and Hot North America inside our machining lab. My name is Joe Pizzoferrato and I'm one of the application engineers here at Hide and Hot. What we've done is we've collaborated with Autodesk to not only improve their post processor, but to also show them some of the additional features on the controller when it comes to aerospace. Aerospace is a challenging industry. Additive manufactured and casted parts, and a lot of times are also composite, pose many challenges when it comes to machining these high strength, lightweight parts. Our philosophy at Heidenhan is first part, perfect fit. So the first topic we're gonna to discuss is quality assurance. We have a new cycle 444 called Measure in 3D and Compensate, which is used to measure a freeform surface of a casted or additive part. Once we measure this part, the control determines whether that point lies in an undersized or oversized range when compared to a nominal dimension, and then compensation can take place. We also offer a monitoring package called State Monitor. State Monitor is all about process control. With the State Monitor, we monitor machines in real time and help detect errors faster for a more prompt and efficient reaction. State Monitor can be used to check that your parameters are in line for your predefined process. We're not only monitoring feeds and speeds and programs, but we're also generating error messages. These error messages are then sent to the appropriate personnel, like machine operators, a production planner, a maintenance controller, or a programmer. One of the things I want to highlight inside of the flexible and digital manufacturing topic is our batch process manager. The batch process manager is used to help optimize your manufacturing processes to create a more flexible manufacturing environment. This is due normally to either a deadline or bottlenecking of parts that are occurring. You can change priorities of the palette editor with a push of a button, and then the palette editor checks to make sure that you have a datum, a tool, and a program set. And if you don't, an X is displayed and a countdown begins and the amount of time you have to change that job over. This gives the operator a window to get things correct before they try running the job. We also have another feature called tool-oriented machining. And what this does is groups operations together for individual tools to limit the tool change time and also reduce overall cycle time of the pallet. We also offer different cutting strategies as well. Tricotal milling for roughing and vector programming when it comes to specific guidance of a complicated tool like either a barrel tool or a lens cutter. The 640 is not only a milling control but it's also a turning control as well. Casted parts can now be loaded into the block forum, which will be used for the turning cycles. This helps cut down air time because the control is smart enough to rapid when the tool is not engaged in the part. Of course, the benefits of having a mill turn center help production flow, a reduction in setup time, there's also less downtime and a more streamlined process. The last area of topic I wanna to hit on is machining efficiency. And by machining efficiency, I mean fast production of high value precision parts. We at Heidenhan say you can not only machine fast, but you can also machine fast and accurate. We have a couple different feature packages that highlights that statement. Our dynamic precision and dynamic efficiency packages provide the machine with enhanced accuracy and better control and utilization of the machine. The dynamic precision package provides precise motion control because of the closed feedback system between your scales, your drives, and the controller all working together. These dynamic precision principles improve the contour accuracy. One of the options inside of there is called crosstalk compensation. The last package I want to highlight on is dynamic efficiency. One of the options inside of there is called AFC or adaptive feed control. AFC monitors spindle load, which helps determine when a tool dulls and increases feed rate when load is not detected. This is useful for when machining casted or additive manufactured parts because these typically do not have a uniform stock on them. They're also quite hard to machine, which is where AFC can become useful. The aerospace industry is also putting higher and higher loads on inserts due to their increased strength characteristics, and therefore AFC can also be used to help you define a more predictable process. We at Heidenhan feel these key features can help you in mitigation or risk management. For all of us here at Heidenhan and Autodesk, thank you for your attention today. And remember, first time, first fit if you want a Heidenhan control.